I see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse-eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh! It's the time of madness and disdain. The Witcher's contact in Velen was to be Hendrik, the Emperor's spy. Hendrik was operating incognito in that war-ravaged land. His mission, to gather intelligence about Ciri. Faster.
Let's go. Giddy up. Air is strange, like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day. And the mist. Whoever you is, get away! Calm down. It's over. Aye, it's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream. How he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. The sun was waning, see, and the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange, the toads, I cannot hear them. here long, the terrors. Yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No. And I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell. 
and peace of mind to you. Tortured him. Maybe they missed something. Need to check his pockets. Trousers are stiff, as if hung out to dry midwinter. Maybe hid something in his jerkin. Damn, he's cold as ice. Nothing here. Should check his boots. Blood congealed. Key hidden in his boot. Gotta fit a keyhole. Somewhere nearby, hopefully. There's a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. Ledger. Payment for a sack of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrick was masquerading as a merchant. Hmm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Interesting headings. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige. Also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Ashen hair. Scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Drunken swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle. Or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talked to Baron at Crow's Perch. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp. Encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. 
Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Ciri. Thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn. Come on, Roach. Run, Roach. Faster. Faster. Slow now.
Baron home? Not your concern. Need to talk to him. Open the gate. Not a chance. We heard what happened at the crossroads. We'll not let a man like that in here. Won't get in that way. Gotta find another. Hard to look among the villagers. Might find one brave enough to help me. He can't take this! Shit! a tired old man not to panic and run when I appear. Greetings. Greetings to you. Other villagers all scurried off soon as they saw me. You didn't. Oh, oh I'm too old to scurry. Besides, what could you do to me? Kill me? Go ahead. I've not long to live. Tamioid wouldn't work. My skin's right brittle. Lived here long? Since I was born. Reckon that'll be more than 70 winters. Must know the area well. Not bad. Listen, I gotta get inside the fortress. Can I do that without going through the front gate? He can, but few know the way. If you were to make an humble offering, call it to this humble man, maybe I could point you in the right direction. feel like arguing with the guards. Years back when the old lord still ruled Crow's Perch, the blacksmith's boy went missing. Old village looked for him. No luck. Finally found the boy in the river. He drowned. Tragic. But how's that supposed to help me? A few days on, an old woman who served the lord found the boy's cap near the castle well. So either he lost it there or he fell in the well. Clever man. Village folk built a shrine where they found the lad's body, northwest of here. Wait till you find an entrance to a passage nearby. Shrine? Where is it exactly? Track that weaves through the village. Follow it to the bridge. Turn right past that. Then go on, straight as piss, till you get to a crossroads. Turn right again. Then follow that path up a hill. Shrine stands upon it. Right past the bridge, then right again. I'll find it, thanks.
shrine. I'll step passage must be somewhere this. around here. Seems I'm in for a swim.
In Fushima, now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. Oh, how we danced, how we twirled, ha ha ha! Ooh! One, two, three, one, two, three, ha <laughs> ha! Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Aha! A defender of the downtrodden. Greetings. News gets around quick. That it does. When I learned you'd slaughtered my men, I thought to have you captured and hanged. Or at least flogged. But then I thought one tough cocker if he bested that lot of cutthroats. Man like him could prove useful. I'm not a thug for hire. I know who you are. But since you come here having perpetrated that bloodbath, I assume you've something important to discuss. I do. Very well. Then let's discuss it. One thing. You do well to behave this time. Remember, I've still to decide what to do with you. Which I shall do after we've spoken. Make yourself at home. Hey, where'd I put the bloody vodka? Ah, there it is. A snifter. Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltest dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell! Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stranger. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? Lovely place. Swamps, bogs. Marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. What's that supposed to mean? That a threat? Boy, not as clever as I suspected you'd be. No, it's no threat. I'll spell it out for you. I know who you're looking for. She showed up some time ago. Exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Sent some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village.
can come down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? <laughs> it's nothing. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail. Then I saw a butterfly. And I ran to catch it. And I lost my way. You and your father. When did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come, I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. Now. My, you're brave. My father can even do that. <laughs> Mine could do a lot more. Look! There's something there. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But... No buts. Stay here. I must see something. Short, but still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, his liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tied? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. When did children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver. But I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. 
The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. Do parents often send their children out to follow the sweets? Sometimes they send their children. Sometimes they go themselves. Do they return? No. Why would they? They've plenty to eat when they part things. This way. Through the cave. You lead. Right? No. <laughs> what? The Wolf King, now do you believe me? I do. Hide! Give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Girl, you can come out now. Come on. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. I've, I've not, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you.
So, stew any good? Very, thank you. I'd not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm well, pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten, and you could do with some sleep. Gretka in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I. Shh. Eat now. Speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her, and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked, 